Okay, I'm running this video at about 50% speed so we can see what's happening here. We've placed two, two manual squeegees here. You could use a 2x6 and you can place it on a little table like that or a shelf rack as we did here and you want to make sure the screen is butted up against it and also at the top. And the key here is that you're able to do two-handed coating of the screen which will give you a lot more stability uh, with the scoop coater. And what I'm going to demonstrate now is you want to make sure that you have plenty of emulsion in the scoop coater and the level at which you fill the scoop coater makes a big difference on the coat amount because of the fluid dynamics so having it at a consistent level as you coat screen after screen will give you a repeatable amount of emulsion on the mesh and that's important especially when you're trying to determine proper exposure times so how this is handled in your shop will make a big difference on your consistency screen after screen mesh count by mesh count and you want a consistent coat the key to it is it's not a race an even speed all the way across the screen so that you get a consistent deposit now I don't do this every day so I'm sure uh, my critics will make fun of me a little bit uh, on the coating but I didn't do half bad but the basic process uh, is to emulate what happens with an automatic scoop coater. So an automatic scoop coater, because people spend 10, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars on a scoop coater, so they get consistent emulsion on every screen mesh. And so you want to use two hands with pressure, roll, roll the coater in, make sure you have enough pressure to where the emulsion isn't going to leak uh, down the screen. And like I said, it's not a race, nice, even consistent coating will give you the desired result and then as you get closer to the top you'll eventually have to start to roll the scoop coater back as you roll it back you want to kind of shuttle it back and forth which will help the emulsion transfer back into the back into the scoop coater um, and this this process you want to make sure you don't drip or leak onto the screen so it's nice and easy you shear it back and forth pull it back and then what we're going to do now is we're going to flip that screen. So you've coated it in one direction on the inside, on the ink side, and now we're going to flip it, place it back up against uh, the squeegees or the 2x6, place it back up against the top of the rack, and two hands we're going to coat in the opposite direction. So what has happened is the fluid has had a chance to transfer through the mesh, saturate the mesh, hopefully we don't have any air bubbles, and now we're going to coat in the opposite direction. So we've pushed it through one way, and now we're pushing it through the other way. And it's once again, it's not a race. It's nice and consistent. Now this uh, video is half speed, so obviously you don't want to go this uh, that slow as it's depicted in the video. But uh, it's to give you an idea of the methodology behind the coating. And the same thing when you got to the top there, you sheared it, pulled back so you didn't have any dripping. And this is a critical thing. Take a look at this. The last one is you're going to rotate it. So you flipped it and then you coated it and then you rotated it. So it's really three coats and the last coat is on the ink side. So you see I'm demonstrating here how you've had a chance to push it through. So in one direction, the other direction, then you push it through. So this final one from the ink side pushing the emulsion through onto the substrate side, onto the t-shirt side of the screen. Once again, not a race, nice and consistent all the way through the stroke. You notice it doesn't change the speed or the rate in which you're coating. You want to keep that nice and consistent. And that's why I like to use two hands because if you use two hands, it gives you a heck of a lot more control. And to be honest, you'll probably do a lousy job in the beginning because you don't do it every day. But the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Uh, eventually, some people will go to one-handed coating. And so what you end up with is the emulsion is now on the t-shirt side you can see that mirror image it's on the t-shirt side and then when you rack it you want to make sure you rack it with that emulsion facing down hopefully you've learned some things about coating the screen